This is a little uh, experiment that you can do with styrofoam packing material. I've got one uh, uh, CD case here, just a CD cover, part of the CD case, and then the bottom part of it, what I've done with it is just uh, coated it over with uh, adhesive of aluminum tape, as you can see there. And I've um, stuck a little wire onto it, just a little wire, as you can see there, into a little hole that's in the bottom of the case. Uh, filled it up with a bunch of styrofoam packing material that's been previously uh, painted with Indoor ink paint and then allowed to dry. And you can see that uh, packing material in the bottom there. Then what I did is I uh, took a baking tray, like an apple pie tray, and cut a circle. So it's just a little bit greater than the diameter of this uh, CD case, and I'm going to use that to cover it and. Uh, what we can do is uh, you can put a little bit of scotch tape on it. So uh, I've just put some little scotch tape on the edges of it. And you can just paste, place this uh, over the CD like that. So uh, I'll show you how that looks. It looks just like this and then you could uh, sort of secure it like that. So basically the purpose of this is to make kind of an electrostatic rainstorm with these with these um, styrofoam pellets, and you can make a you can connect a, a voltage across the top and the bottom, and uh, watch those things jump. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Okay, what I'm going to do now is connect the static electricity up and see what happens. Here it goes. These things are jumping like crazy. Okay, I'm going to give it a little, another little uh, zap of static to see what happens. This should pick up some momentum. There you go. Give it another set. There it goes. It almost looks like Brownian motion. It might be a good model for it. Just discharge the static from the uh, source and uh, everything stopped movement. So, um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you would like further videos, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.